So today I'm going to share to you how I modified my wax nail BRX to accommodate my preferred antennas for my FPV long range. And I did it after one or two flights uh, just to test my wax nail FPV system. So first things first is you want to remove these four screws. I use this small Allen key to remove all these four screws that hold the front plate and the back plate of your wax nail your X. So once you have done it, you will be able to pop it off and all you need to do is to unplug the CFL connectors. The radiator fan is mounted on the front panel, thus you need to remove the um, this connector first from the main board. Then you can remove the three screws that hold the radiator fan. So you need to transfer it from the existing front panel to the 3D printed um, front panel. So once you've done removing this front cover, you'll be able to detach these two patches which are left hand circular polarized. So since most of my antennas are RHCP so right hand circular polarized, I won't be using these two stock patches. Okay. So to replace the front panel, I printed this um, HD0 VRX style front cover that has these sort of rails which will allow me to mount this crew RC X to air using this rail mount. This one is 3D printed. The HD0 provided or the RC provided the printed rail mounts. However, those are quite small, so I need to print it, to print uh, a wider one. That should allow me to slide this exterior antenna in place, then just tighten up the SMA connector. So aside from that, I replace the stock connectors or uh, stock RP SMA connectors with my SMA ones. Since most of my antennas are SMA. So the stack connectors are RP SMA. As you can see, there's a pin inside. As you can see it. So there's a pin inside on the connector. So this one is RP SMA. So what I did is I ordered a couple of SMA connectors that has this SMA to UFL coax and placed it inside the BRX. So as you can see here, I have a total of four SMA to EFL connectors to replace all the stock ones. Um, the front patches originally doesn't have the SMA connector, but rather this one is uh, directly soldered on the patch and terminated with the EFL connector. So I routed the coax as intended, and aside from that, I also swapped the antenna one and antenna uh, four. Okay, so it's antenna and antenna 4. Um, out of the box, um, antenna 1 is this top right if you're using this in the goggle. So this is your top connector. So this one is antenna 1. This one is transmitting. And the other one, the other rest, the, all three antennas are all for the receiving. So what I did is to change the connection and use antenna 1 as my one of the patches. And... And antenna two is the where should I stand? Antenna two is this one, top left. Antenna three is the right patch, and antenna four is basically this top right. So I just swapped antenna one and antenna four on this case. Right. So aside from that, I also uh, replaced the stock um, thermal pad, which came in the with the VRX the thicker one to effectively um, transmit the heat from the heat spreader to the radiator fan. One of the trickiest part on this conversion is the removal of the RPSMA connectors on the top part because of, uh, because these connectors are somewhat held by glue inside this housing. So what you need to do is to, to scrape the glue first that holds the RPSMA, then remove 
these nuts that hold the RP semiconductor then give these connectors a gentle push on top until it pops off inside then you can gently pull it from the coax wires and you can get this RPSME connector out then um, to put your new SME connectors all you need to do is to uh, push the, RP, the SME connector from the inside tighten these nuts and it's done then of course to finish the job put back the four screws and it's done